If you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with another Creative Fabrica Friday for you guys. I am so excited to share this project with you guys. It is quick, it is easy, and I think it's fun. Something you can keep for yourself, make as a gift, and is completely customizable with your favorite colors, with your favorite vinyl, with your um, particular size that you have in mind. So um, what you'll need today is a file, two files from Creative Fabrica. I'll have those linked down below in the description box. You'll need some a vinyl. If you don't have any vinyl, you could cut out um, your statement, simple, your focus piece in cardstock and then just adhere it to the top of your acetate, which you'll need and um, some cardstock. I'm using cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. I'll have all of these luscious summer colors. Don't this look just like a fresh summer ice cream shop? <laughs> For some reason, it just gives me ice cream shop vibes. I have all these beautiful colors listed down below in the description box. You guys can definitely check them out there and stay tuned. Next week, I'll be doing a uh, another craft with me or another video for scrapbooking month um, and I'll be doing another giveaway as I've been doing for the month of May. So next week we'll be having a particularly special prize from Cardstock Warehouse and the lovely people that run that show over there. So thank you so much ladies for that. But that's next week. So today um, I just need you guys to sit back, relax, watch, and then go head over to Creative Fabrica website where again, if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome girl. If you're coming back or returning, you already know the deal. I have a collab with Creative Fabrica. You have access, full access to over 4 million files, SVGs, illustrations, phrases, fonts, sublimations, anything that you would like to um, use. And there's also classes available on there as well for $1. For the next 30 days, you have complete full access using my referral link down below in the description box. You guys have access to that. So be sure to head on over there and check that out. Grab yourself some flower files. Grab yourself this box file and let's get crafting. Let's go. Okay, so I have cut out all of the files. Um, and I am using a 110 pound weight for this particular portion of the box. I want it to be nice and sturdy. This is going to be something that I'm going to keep for myself. But I do have in mind to um, make some of these for my crafty gal pals. This is also good for Mother's Day. It's good to make one for um, a friend uh, for Valentine's Day all that good stuff. So what we're gonna do here is just fold over at all the perforated marks, just like you see here. So it's gonna fold into something like this. You can use wet glue, hot glue, um, double-sided tape, dry tape, if you like. So I'm gonna use, of course, hot glue for mine because I love hot glue. And also I'm gonna use it to add a little bit of stability to my project. Once I put all of these together, then I'll know where I wanna place my glue. Because even though this um, this has a little stand on the back, I'm gonna add some um, stability to the, just a little bit more aside from this 120 pound weight cardstock, um, just a little bit more stability with my hot glue. So it can just uh, stand up and not topple, be, you know, topple over easily with the ruckus of the family that comes through here and disrespects my craft room. Um, <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, see I folded over all of the perforated marks. This is gonna line up just like this. And you're gonna take another piece. There are two that are there that are same size. So you wanna match opposite, basically a long one with a short one. So um, you wanna match them up. This is a long one. So these two are gonna go together and those two are gonna go together. Go together. So, all right, so I'm just gonna take my glue gun here and I'm gonna add a little glue to my edge. And I'm gonna close it up, line it up and close it up together, just like so. Pop it open. And I'm gonna do the same thing to 
the longer bit, the um, angle, the right angle, the opposite side. So a short piece and a long piece go together. Line that up. Got that going. Okay, you have this piece here, your opposite, so long and short. And then you have this little shape that's going to face down and that's going to go right in like that. So that little flap essentially is going to connect to that, this tip on the inside here, and they should fit together and right angle itself just like that. So I'm going to add some glue to this flap. Let's get that situated in there just like so. Just hold that there for a second. Boom. Done. All right. And then, so that was like that. So flip it over to the opposite side. And we're going to add glue right in there so that they can join together on the inside as well. Just like that. Great. All right. And then it's going to go like this. And then we're going to do the same thing. So short, long. This one's going to be a short one. So I'm going to glue it together and then I'm going to close it up. And then I'm going to do the same for this piece. What I'm also going to do is take a little bit of my hot glue and drop it on in on the inside. Like I said earlier, just to give it a little bit stability. I like doing that with the pieces. You got to put it down quick because the hot glue go through that end there is is hot. And just squirt some in there now when you when you're putting it together and you already know where you want it to sit. You can do this ahead of time, but I'm just literally just dropping some in there. Ooh, it's hot. And this last one here. All right, adds a little weight to it. All right, so got that. See, it get a little heavy on you. All right, and this is a long one. It's going to go down here, and then we have a short one. Okay, this is what you should have. I um, cut out my this piece twice. I just wanted to have a more of a finished look on the outside. All right, so that's that. So I have my back piece here. I'm gonna glue my back piece on to the back of my shadow box, just like so. And I'm using hot glue for this. Just wanna make sure it stays nice and flat. There we go. We have our shadow box that is done. <laughs> love, love, love. Okay. And then we have this piece that um, came in there in the um, download as well. And this is like a little um, holder, a little stand. So you fold over all the perforated marks. I told you guys this was going to be super easy. And you put it on the back here, just like that. So I'm going to put that on later. Um, but first, we're going to work on the flowers. Um, so I've already cut out my flowers, you guys saw earlier, and I wasn't sure exactly how many I would need. Um, I did cut out four in each color, and then I put two together. So I'm thinking that it'll be four, it'll be 16 flowers that I'll have, and um, that should be enough. I want to keep everything as crisp you know, as I can so that the colors of the cardstock will show. So um, I've cut these flowers. I think I have them cut at, I've enlarged these to about um, four and a half by five is the dimensions of this flower. So of course, size yours to whatever you like. And then I'm going to use my little roller here. I've always liked using these um Every time I roll flowers, I always use these particular rollers. I'll link them down below. They do make rolling flowers a little bit easier, although these flowers are um, sized a bit larger, so that makes them a bit longer. 
Um, so you'll just have to make sure that you keep the best steady hand you can. And sometimes they pop out like just now. If that happens, no worries. It's a rolled flower. So you really can just roll them. And then just keep your finger on the center if you roll them by hand. And then keep it tightly rolled. You can unloosen them when you get to the end. Just like that. I'm gonna put my glue at the bottom down here. And then I'm gonna close, whoops. And then I'm gonna hold that down while it unloosens just a little bit. Let it loose a smidge. Got a little time to play with it and then seal the deal. And then that's how those will look. So yeah, four would look great um, in a row. And then I will also have the dimension that I resize my file. I think this is, you can resize it to anything, of course, as long as it can fit on your mat. But I sized it a little bit smaller so that the middle here is six by six. So this piece is six by six. So, so I'll have it. I'll have it all. Um, when you group everything together, I'll have what the size is. So you guys can, if you want to do it the same size as mine, get the measurements the same as I have. So, the current time is eleven seventeen Central Standard Time PM. Uh, although on a Friday, although this is a Creative Fabric of Friday video, my last what two videos have not been on a Friday. So um, Friday-ish, we're saying I do not believe in my heart of hearts that this video is going to be up in uh, 42 minutes. I'm sleepy and I have like a thousand more flowers to roll. So I think this is going to be a creative Friday video on a Saturday. So um, we'll just have to make do with what we got. So just know that I tried and I did start it on a Friday. So... I'm going to roll the rest of these because, like I said, these flowers are larger than my little quilling tool there. And then I'm just going to curl it up. You can let loose now or you can let loose when you have the glue. Totally up to you. All right. Just put this little glue in its space. Hold it down a sec. Just going to do this last one with you guys. And then I'm going to do the rest of the rolls alone in my silence. <laughs> so I think that's good. Shimmy it a little. And there we go. Feel free to add stickles. Judge it up. I might add some stickles to this. Um, might not. We'll see. But I will be back with the rest of my flowers rolled together. Okay, I have my cute little box of flowers in here. <laughs> they are so cute. I am so tempted to put color behind it, like a piece of colorful rainbow ombre type paper, but I know what I want, how I want it to look. And I need it to be simple in the back and um, have these beautiful colors pop. Now, even though I just straighten those all up, I am going to glue them down um, to their spaces. Just like so. A little hot glue at the bottom. And if you're doing it this way and you adhere it with hot glue, make sure you hold it because it can melt the, the wrap. Like as you is reheating up the area. Just make sure you hold it in that space. So I'm going to continue to do this and I'll be back. There we go. They're all in there nice and tight. Ah! I love it. So now I think I'm going to add some stickles. I'm going to add some diamond stickles to this and they can dry in the box. And just make sure I get all of my glue strings out the way. You can add some sheen to this like your um, glimmer mist. If you uh, don't have any, I have a tutorial on how I make my homemade shimmer mist. And I'll link that down below. Just going to give it a little bit of pizzazz. 
just a little bit, like getting the highlight points. Oh, it looks so pretty on this razzleberry. Just a little bit, a little bit of shimmer. How does that look to you guys? Isn't it cute? I love it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is grab some double-sided tape. I'm going to line the perimeter here with this double-sided tape. I want to make sure I stay on in between the border, not to go around outside of it. Just press that down. Make sure I don't see any more glue strings. Anything that will annoy me once I seal this deal. All right, I'm going to set this aside for now. Quick second. And then I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab extra little piece of paper to put this on. Okay. And then I'm going to do my foiling. Okay, I'm going to grab my contact paper. And I'm using vinyl today. That's uh, from Tech Wrap, my newest fave. Adding my adding to my favorite vinyl collection. I'm also using some from my stash. Um, it's just a really pretty vinyl that I liked, a foil vinyl. So I'm gonna grab my little sentiment here. Uh, the sentiment I have says humble with a hint of sarcasm, which is me, right? I know. That's uh, me all day. And then I have the hint and the, and that pretty foil paper, pretty foil vinyl that I like. All right. So this phrase can also be found on Creative Fabrica. This font, really cute. I love, I like this font a lot. I love how it has like, um, you'll see it when it's on the paper a little bit better, but it has like bubble. It's like bubbly, almost like graffiti-y. And I really like that. Actually, um, my daughter, Taylor, my oldest daughter, um, was going through all of the fonts with me and she was like no mom do this one do something about sassy classy and something I, this girl was going I was like listen I'm a lady I can't be doing all that extra so um she was like mom I fine go ahead and do that one <laughs> but she was gonna be uh, just all up and through and I was like, no, no, no. But this, it was waver between this one and she's armed and dangerous and it has a cute little glue gun as her gun. And I was like, oh, I should do that one. And I could do the font in a different color and, you know, but um, I didn't do that one. I opted to not. I want to try to get this in right in the center. So I'm going to line this up with the acetate. I can make sure I get it right in where I want it to go. I think that will work. I'm gonna get this on. Go ahead and peel this off. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my hint. Okay, that can go there. And this go here.
All right, and I know all my friends will agree with this saying. Just a hint, not much, just enough to make me a little extra. All right, so then now we're going to move this out of the way and then bring back, let me clean this area off. Okay, and now I'm going to remove, move these out of the way. And now I can put this on top. This is where you can customize the size. You can customize. Oh my God. <laughs> I look so cute. You can customize the size. You can customize your flower size, your flower colors, your flower shapes and styles. There are tons. I downloaded tons of uh, SVG flowers from Creative Fabrica. I'm just going to get that together. A little nip there. That looks so stinking cute. A box of donuts. And then I'm going to take this top part. I knew there was another reason why I cut out this extra piece. I'm going to take this top part and add tape to it and go ahead and add it to over that acetate. Make it look for a, uh, make it a nice clean finish. Now I'm going to put this over the top. This is too cute. This is so stinking adorable. Now feel free to add pearls or highlight it with a little bit of um, yeah, flatback pearls or flower, do whatever you want. But this is just so cute. Oh, I just love it. I love it. All right. So now we're going to put this together. And I think... This goes at the bottom, like so. So let me adhere these little doohickeys. That's too cute. Too adorable. I love it. What do you guys think? Is this not the cutest thing ever? I hope you enjoyed this week's Creative Fabrica Day, day, not Friday, not Saturday, Creative Fabrica Day. Don't forget, guys, to check out the links down below in the description box if you guys are interested in anything that I mentioned in this video. And uh, also check out the Creative Fabrica website where you guys have access to all of those files for one month. The link will be down below in the description box. Like this video. If you guys can take a second and like this video, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how your girl is doing. Like, I really want to know your feedback. How is, how is everything going? <laughs> All right. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.